First, the midterms are in the final stretch. President Biden and former President Barack Obama campaigning for candidates in Pennsylvania. And now Donald Trump set to speak any minute in Pennsylvania. A live look right now. He is throwing his support behind Republican candidates. We are keeping a close eye, of course, on these tight races across the country. We are starting with News Nation correspondent Robert Sherman in Arizona. Robert. Good evening to you, Natasha, and here we are. It is the last couple of days before Election Day here in the Grand Canyon State. We're going to have Carrie Lake and Blake Master speaking at a rally behind us here in the next couple of hours. But early voting is already complete out here. Over a million ballots have been cast. It is now all about Tuesday. And you look at the Real Clear Politics average of polls. We have two big races here. The first one, the Arizona Senate race. This one has gotten really tight over the last couple of weeks. For a while, Mark Kelly owned about a five, six point lead in this exact average. Now his lead has been cut all the way down to 1%. You go to the other side of the coin, the Arizona governor's race. This race has also tightened, but in the opposite direction. Carrie Lake has been leading for a while. Now her lead is within two percentage points over Democrat Katie Hobbs. We saw the Republicans Kerry Lake and Blake Masters on the campaign trail earlier today, stumping in Chandler, Arizona, with some help from uh, Montana Senator Steve Daines. You also had uh, Tom Cotton of Arkansas. And here Kerry Lake said, this election means everything. Take a listen. Everything is on the line Tuesday. I cannot say that enough. What happens in Arizona is either going to save this country or we're going to go into ruins. We have to get out and vote like our lives depend on it. Get up early, bring some food, bring some water, bring a like-minded friend, and don't get out of line until you cast your vote. Who's ready to do that? But her opponent, Katie Hobbs, striking a similar tone of urgency, a new op-ed out today where she says this, quote, let's be clear here, the Republican Party of the past is gone. It's been replaced by MAGA, which puts allegiance to the former president over anything else, policy, values, or our country. Later adding that the new GOP is led by extremist, radical stone throwers like Carrie Lake, who disparage great Americans like McCain and are more interested in garnering headlines and booking cable news hits than actually delivering on the issues facing Arizonans. Meanwhile, the first lady of the United States, Dr. Jill Biden, is in Arizona here this week, stumping for Democrats. It's interesting to note that we've seen some Democrats running against the Biden administration, but here you have the first lady on the ground in the Grand Canyon state. Worth noting, though, her husband, the president, not here in Arizona. There's a new poll out from Maris which shows the president's disapproval rating here in Arizona, 56%. Natasha. Yeah, very interesting. Robert Sherman live for us in Scottsdale. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.